Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the x lite X903 helmet. x lites X903 is their sports touring helmet that has a pleasing simplicity and the sort of comfort that x lite have worked really hard to create over the years. The shell for this helmet is made from composite fibre, which always helps to keep the helmet's weight down, it's good at managing impact forces, and it also allows better ventilation than a plastic shell. But on the weight front, we've weighed this size medium X903 on our scales, and it came in at 1590 grams. That's okay, but it's not as low a number as I expected to see when I put this lid on the scales. It feels much lighter on the go than the actual figure when it shows up on the scales. The venting on this helmet is good, and it comes through two inlet points, one at the chin and one on top. There's an easy to use chin slider here that allows air to flow through the chin bar and then exit over the top of the breath guard and allow you to get some circulation through to the eye port. You might notice in the riding footage we recorded for this video that there's no breath guard in the helmet used in those pictures. That's because there wasn't one in that helmet when we took it from stock, but it is part of the specification for this helmet. We've checked a lot of our other X903s and they all do come with breath guards in. The other vent, as well as that chin vent, is the one on top. It's just as easy to use and it's actually similar to the one used on x lites popular flip front X1005 helmet. Slides open and it allows air to flow through and then into the helmet's interior. There are deep channels then in the impact liner that allow that incoming air to make its way to the back of the lid where it can escape through the exhaust vents at the rear. Visors are always pretty easy to change on x lite helmets, but they've gone a step further with the X903 by using magnets. These pull the visor and the mounting together, which makes it dead easy to fit a new visor. You just pull this hinge under here, and then the visor comes away, and then hover it back over and the magnets pull it together and it's reattached. So while it makes fitting much easier, in a way it makes removing it a bit trickier and there's a technique to it. Because the problem you get is when you pull this lever, you pull one side of the visor away perfectly normally, then when you move your attention to the other side, this visor sort of naturally clicks itself back together and then you're constantly dancing between the two. So the best way I've found to do this is to come from the back of the helmet, use your thumbs to use both levers at the same time and then pick the visor away like that with your fingers and then you can reattach it just as easily from this position because the magnets just allow it to click back into place. Visor also has a central lifting and lowering tab which is increasingly common now across all sorts of different helmets and that means it can be opened by a couple of centimetres to allow in a really strong amount of air when you're riding slowly such as in slow traffic. It's protected against mist by a Pinlock Max Vision insert and that doesn't impede your vision as it covers the vast majority of the eye port. As with all good sports touring helmets, there's a drop down sun visor inside. And as with other x lights and Nolans, the two companies are part of the same group. It's protected against mist by a coating that does a really good job of keeping clear vision, well, in my experience anyway. It operates on this lever by the left ear and it quickly becomes second nature to lower or raise the visor on that lever. So moving to the interior, x lite put a lot of thought into their comfort liners and that's been exactly the same with the X903. It's got strands of carbon woven through there to help maintain an even temperature and it's very pliable and comfy. The skull pad also has x lites liner positioning control set up. That means you can alter the lining to change the way the helmet sits on your head by adjusting a belt that's attached to the back of the cheek pad. I'll let you dig into the helmet's owner's manual to see how to do that properly as it's actually a little bit of an involved process that'd be really too difficult for me to explain here. I actually found the cheek pads on this size medium helmet a little bit thicker than normal around the front, but that didn't present any real comfort issues while I was riding. The liner for this helmet's fully removable, although again, I found the cheek pads a bit tricky to refit. There are four fasteners for each pad and all four of them are different. There's a whole section in the owner's manual on how to remove those pads and you should be ready for a little bit of a fiddle, but at least x lite take the trouble to explain them in the book, which certainly isn't the case with every manufacturer. I think it's because x lite have thought really hard about how to make those cheek pads emergency release. It's the sort of feature you hope you'll never have to think about too much as it makes it easier for a medic to remove a crashed rider's helmet. Behind those cheek pads are plugged recesses for intercom speakers. x lite has a dedicated system that fits really neatly to this helmet. I tried fitting a Cardo PackTalk bold system, but I couldn't fit the speakers into the recesses. They were too big. I'd expect a Senna aftermarket unit to fit, as it's Senna who make the dedicated x lite system. But overall, I would expect that dedicated system to fit the best. And there's another plus with that 
X-Lite have tested their helmets, safety tested them all with that system fitted. So you know 100% that you won't be compromising on safety by fitting an intercom. Lastly, with the interior, let's cover the fastening strap. It's a D-ring fastener, which puts this helmet more at the sporty end of sports touring rather than the touring end. I've seen some praise online for the noise levels generated by this helmet, but both my experience and also the feedback from the customer reviews suggests that it's really pretty normal. It's neither really loud nor very quiet, it's just normal. Customers who have left a review for this helmet though, they do really like what they've bought when they're talking about it in general. They praise the build quality, the comfort, the vision, the visor mounting, and the way it works really neatly with that approved intercom for those people who fitted one. I can see what they mean about this helmet really, and I think this is another lid that keeps up X-Lite's reputation for really impressive standards. So let's finish up with sizing and approvals. The X903 comes in sizes double extra small to triple extra large. There are three shell sizes to cover that range. The smallest shell covers helmet sizes triple XS to medium, large gets a shell all to itself, and then the biggest shell covers XL and above. The helmet's approved to ECE 2205 for the road, and it's approved by the ACU for track riding and racing here in Britain. It's not been tested by the UK government's Sharp Safety Programme yet, so I can't let you know how many stars it would get, but x -Lite have a very strong record when it comes to Sharp, as all 11 of their helmets that have been tested over the years have scored either four or five stars. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the x -Lite X903 helmet, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.